Hello everyone, it's Michelle. I hope you guys are having a great long weekend. Um, hopefully some of you got that extra day off for Labor Day. But I feel like Labor Day is kind of the official starting fall. So I wanna try and start working on some really fun fall projects. So um, my Coco and Reno dies came in and I had to make a project for it. So I thought these were just some really sweet, easy ways to create like treat pouch slash envelope. And as you can see, you can leave it open like this and um or you can close it like this as like a snail mail envelope now for those who are like new to crafting i don't know if you can tell but this project is so simple it is literally circles <laughs> it's literally just circle cutouts and people do circle envelopes various ways and i'm just going to show you the way that i do mine and um i'm just going to show you how cute some of the tags and stuff came out with my dies I love that little broom and the witch hat is just awesome. I use it like as an extra embellishment. So let's go ahead and get started. And again, you can do this any size um, circle, but I'm gonna show you what I'm using here. So I'm using my Sizzix Framelit dies, okay? And I put this washi tape on it because I wanted to um, be able to tell you what I was using. So my circle is gonna be a four inch circle. So those are the measurements that I'm taking this with. Otherwise you can just eyeball it, but this will give you a good idea of like how far um, I score my circle. So I'm just making five circles. So I just cut out um, some of these. So these are gonna be the little doors and then I'll pick one of these for the lid. So I'm gonna have like five of them. And I'll link that. Uh, there's like several places you can get those dies, unless you have some. So grab your scoreboard. And go ahead and start with which ones you want for, um, you know, your lid. So I think for my top lids, I want to use um, these orange ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, for... For the ones that are going, so like these black ones right here, those are gonna be the one and a half inch score. So two at one and a half inch. So we'll start with this one here. Okay, I'm just gonna take a circle and score it there. Super easy tutorial. So one and a half inch. And make sure your picture is aligned the way you want it to be when it's going to be sideways. Because you don't want crooked stars. So right here, and I'm just going to fold it. And that's going to be my top. And this is going to be my bottom. So like this. Okay. And then I'm going to take my other ones and score them at two and a half inch. So let me see, this is gonna go this way. I'm sorry, I'm trying to visualize, make sure it's gonna be the right way. I just don't know if I should have put it sideways like that, but because the lettering is gonna be sideways, but that's okay. So two and a half inches. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the scoreboard. Now I'm just gonna puzzle it together, just a really fun, easy, like Sunday project. So go ahead and fold this. Now what you're gonna do is take the bigger side this time. So take your lid, make sure the smaller side's in the back, and I'm just gonna piece it together like that, and I'm literally gonna line it up with the other score line, but you wanna overlap it just a little bit, otherwise this will get stuck on your circle. So you want it on the outer edge, just a little. So what I'm gonna do is just glue this down, and place my um, little things. And I just like to test it when I close it. So that's that side. And now I'm gonna make sure it's the big side. And I'm gonna fold that side. And you can glue this down right here. And then I'm gonna take this one 
So make sure it's the small side going in the back. And then you're gonna pop that on. And this is gonna be your little, okay, so wait, I wanna show you real quick. So you can even leave it like this and make it like a little, um, or you can, sorry. You can leave it like that and leave it as a really cute little like, you know, envelope thingy. Here, let me find a little scrap so you can get a visual. Why do I not have any Halloween? Oh, here. So you can leave it like this right now, or you can go ahead and stick on your other one like I did. So there's two ways you can do this. And boom, right there is your cute little like pouch envelope. And I totally put that on wonky. Let me fix this. Ta-da! So four circles, and again, you can use any size circle you want. It's just your measurements are not gonna be the same if you use a different size. But you can just figure out in inches. I mean, for example, if it was like a one inch circle, you wanna cut your score in half. So it's too easy. Okay, now for the inside here, this is gonna vary on your placement. So for me, I used a sheet of paper that was about three and uh, three quarters by three and three quarters. And let me see if it's gonna fit by my placement. I feel like I might need to trim it. I'm gonna trim it down just a little bit because it's gonna overlap. If I can find my scissors and my mess. Seriously. I have a million scissors. Okay, I had to use my sewing machine. So I'm just gonna trim this down just a little bit. And smack that on there. Aren't these cute and easy? This is an old, old, old tutorial, I feel like. Um, but I thought it would be fun for Halloween. And I see people do it different, like a spiral. See, I put these a little, oh no, these go in and then my big ones go out. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and decorate it. I'm going to take some twine and pop that on there. Now again, you can just glue this if you want, like this. And, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot the lid. So the lid, let me show you my little trick. Okay, I took that fifth circle and I did this. And because like, if okay, so if you glue this down, when you fold the lid, it's gonna pop up like that. So that's why I didn't glue it down. So what I did is I took it and folded it down and you can see it's a little bit bigger. So what I did is folded it and cut it from there. And I cut it just a little bit shorter than the uh, thing because I didn't want it popping up. So you don't really have to score it or anything, just do what I did and then it will be perfect right there. And you can see this is a little shorter. That's why it's showing white. If that bugs you, definitely don't cut it the way I did my hand. Okay. So when you have this, it doesn't show. And I cut this crooked, so I'm gonna bring that down just a little bit. Okay, now again, you can glue this here or just leave it. And hold on, this is folding in. This is, okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add some twine and make it all pretty for you guys. I'm gonna wrap it about three times. And I like to always use a twine that like kind of pops out different. Um, than the actual color because I feel like it really makes the project. And here's just another cute little tag I made from Coco and Reno. This boot is everything. I love it so much. It's so cute. So I've been working with Coco and Reno for quite some time now, but um, I didn't realize, um, you know, they actually, um, so it's a family owned business but I didn't actually know she actually hand designs all of this herself. Um, we had been talking about it and I thought that was amazing because I thought maybe they hired an in-house designer and had asked, so pretty cool. I was like, you are very talented because think about every different, um, 
you know, design every single month that she does, including the stamps. So that's the little tag, and I feel like it needs a little something on it. Do I have something? So let's see. I have these little bats from the collection too, so I'm gonna go ahead and add one of those on there, or maybe two. The um, coolest thing about, so I thought this was a border die, I think it had wrote in my stories. And the coolest thing about this is almost like a confetti punch. Let me show you guys real quick. So I thought this was a border die, but these are actually just cut them individually, um, a whole bunch of bats. So you don't have to like keep cutting and cutting the dies. And I think that is brilliant. So here's some bats. Do I want another bat on there? Sure. And if you want, you can even add a little bow, which I had in my photo, and pop that on there. Or something else if you want, but I don't have any more Halloween on my desk. So I guess this is gonna be it. But anyway, super easy. And I just thought it was a nice, like, fun little Sunday project. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks so much, you guys.